my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to work on some wall decor and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with this really cool shutter mirror window that I got for $10 at Goodwill. It is so cute. I love it. I love this pale yellow color inside and I picked up at Joann's a pick of this uh, greenery. I'm going to make a wreath for it, so let's just get started. So I picked up this rattan wreath uh, ring, I guess, from Dollar Tree. It was a light color, like a blonde, and I stained it a while back for another project and then never ended up using it. So this greenery was half price at Joann's, so instead of six dollars, I think I paid three, and then of course the dollar for the or dollar twenty-five for the ring, and it was a little bit cheaper than buying their uh, their wreath that they had there. So I thought I would save a little bit of money and make my own. So I'm fitting it into the wreath the way I want it, and then I'm taking it back out and gluing it back in. I have had people ask me why, or a couple people comment why do I glue everything in. I do a lot of shipping because I sell this stuff from my Etsy shop, and I also have a booth at a local antique place that I sell my items at, and things get handled a lot, and I always feel like if I don't glue things in, it will fall apart, and it just doesn't feel quite right. So. That's why I glue a lot of things in. So after I got that done, I wiped down the glass and just wiped down the whole piece. It really didn't need anything at all, I didn't think. And so this is the end result. this piece at the local Goodwill for a couple of dollars and I couldn't pass it up. I loved the wire basket on the front and I have this piece of decoupage paper from uh, Zazzle again and I'll put the link down in the description and I want to put that on this board. So I started to sand the wording off. It had something about wine on there uh, but I quickly realized why am I doing that when I'm going to paint it anyway. So, uh, and I knew the paint would cover it up, so I'm not really sure why I started doing that. I guess it's just maybe habit. But I took my plaster Waverly paint. I did two coats on that, and I also did the sides and the back. I did not show it, but I did the whole piece all the way around. Like I said before, I got this paper, this decoupage paper. It's just basically uh, tissue paper that's printed and I uh, got this from Zazzle and I will leave a link down in the description. Just cut that out so that it would fit just the top piece of the board because you won't be able to see inside the basket. I am using a coat of Mod Podge and I'm covering the whole piece. It's a little bit bigger than the board, but I'll be able to, once that dries, sand off the edges and it will look really nice. I'm going to sand it to distress it anyway, so basically I'm just going to go over it and get the bubbles and wrinkles out the best I can and get it to lay flat. So now that it's dry, I want to sand down those edges, like I said, and get that paper off there and just sanding it lightly really makes it come off and give it a nice edge. Of course I'm gonna go over it with sandpaper like I said and rough it up and make it look a little distressed. So it's okay if it rips a little, I'm alright with that and it did a little bit on a few of the sides and I like it, I like it distressed. So I'm gonna take this floral foam, nice big piece of floral foam and I'm going to also take this burlap and put that down inside the basket and then cut to help it fit a little bit better and cut off that excess so that it will look a little bit nicer on the basket. So this collaboration is the third Thursday thrift flip. It's every third Thursday. 
of every month, and it's put on by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at Southern G. More Gals. I will put their links down in the description along with the playlist link to all the awesome creators that are joining in this collaboration. So make sure you go down and check them out. So I glued down the edges so that they would stay nicely and now I'm taking an, a coat of Mod Podge and putting that over the paper so that it will be nice and sealed, easier to clean, and it will stay uh, stuck to the board nicely. Oh my gosh, now that this is dry, it is so beautiful. I love this paper. came out so nice. So now I'm going to take some of this greenery that I got. I believe I got this from Joann's as well. And I'm going to stick this in the floral foam. And we're going to uh, just fill it all up the best I can. Just make it look nice and full and beautiful. So once I had that all filled in the way I like it, I took some Spanish moss to cover up any places where you could see that floral foam and I'm just sticking that in. I think it gives it a more finished look and I really like the just a little bit of it poking out here and there. I think it looks really nicely and it also lifts up the greenery and just makes it look perkier. So I'm also wrapping some jute string around the top several times and I'm also going to make a nice uh, triple, I don't even know, it was several loops of bow and I just put it all together and put it on the top. So here is the finished piece. last project I really didn't get it at a thrift store I have to be honest I picked it up at a yard sale my very first yard sale of the year and I really loved the frame on this mirror and thought it was so beautiful it's so nice and thick and I wanted to do something fun with it but it the back of it is very yucky water stained and you could tell it's been tucked in the back of a shed or a barn or somewhere not kept very nicely so I just took all the hanging stuff off the back and also the staples and just took all the cardboard. It had nasty things living in there. So I got that all off, pulled out those staples for the holding the mirror in. Now I don't think I show you, but I take my heat gun and I get all that uh, paper and cardboard that's stuck to the back of the frame and I heat that up and scrape it off and get that all off there. So I also painted the back with this black folk art paint and then sealed it. And now I'm doing the front after I gave it. I did give it a little sand because the water had gotten to the frame as well and made it a little bit chippy and bubbly. So I wanted to just get anything that was loose off the frame. So just go over it. And I think, I believe I only did one coat of this. Uh, I didn't need to do two coats. This folk art paint is nice and thick and does a great job covering. Now I'm taking again my plaster Waverly paint and I'm going over the mirror now and I'm just giving the mirror. The mirror I did give two coats. Uh, it didn't cover as well as I wanted. So two coats it was for that. And of course it wouldn't be a project that I did unless I went through and uh, scuffed it up, distressed it, sanded it down, and just made it look like it's been around forever, kicking around. And I so I just took a piece of sandpaper and just went along all the edges and made it look roughed up. I took a big piece of cardboard and cut it to match the back of the mirror and I set that in there and because I, I didn't want to reuse the cardboard that was there because it was water stained and yucky. So now it's all fresh and clean. I'm taking a piece of this uh, decoupage tissue paper that I have. It is the, it's like a bunch of ads 
and I'm cutting out the very middle one that I really like in there and I'm going to put that in the middle of my, my now picture frame. Going very close to the picture, as close as I can get without cutting it, and I'm going to Mod Podge it down to the middle of the frame. So I laid it right down and I didn't do a lot of fussing with it because I find that this paper is, like I said, it's tissue paper and it rips and tears very easily if you mess with it too, too much. So I just gave uh, the whole thing, the mirror or the painted part, a coat of Mod Podge to seal it in. And now I'm taking my special mix of antique wax water and black paint that I mixed together and I am just lightly giving it an antique look across the top of the picture frame. If you're interested in how I make up this mixture that I came up with, uh, you can, I will put a link up here in the corner, it'll pop up and you can check it out. It's somewhere in that video where I mix it up for you. But it is quite simple and of course it's to your taste however you like. Uh, how dark and things like that, how you like your uh, projects to come out. So you saw I just took a piece of paper towel and wiped around all that wax, took some off and just smeared it around a little bit and just rubbed it in and made it look old. So now I have this uh, netting ribbon that I got. I believe I got this from Dollar Tree. It is a light ivory color and I'm just going to give it a coat, just a dry brushing of this stain that I made up and uh, going to stick it to either side of this ad that I have in the picture frame. I thought that the ivory piece would stick out too much or even blend in too much with the background of the picture so I wanted to antique that as well. So I just cut it down so that it would fit onto the picture frame and I cut two of them and then I cut some burlap skinny burlap ribbon that I had and just took a bead of glue down the middle so that you couldn't see either time when I glued those pieces in and put it right over the top of that and I did the same on the other side and I really think this looks unique and pretty cool. Let me know, did you have a favorite today? Tell me down in the comments below. Don't forget to go down and check out the description box where I will have the two hosts to this collaboration and the playlist. Also the link to my Etsy shop and the link to Zazzle where I get my decoupage paper. I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you so much. Have a great day.